today we will talk about some important directories we have in our linux how how to check in which directory you are currently working what is absolute and relative path names how to change directories listing directory contents so we should start from some important directories as you can see here home directory exists in slash root slash root is a user a super user of linux and if there are further more users you have uh, included in your linux you can they, they will be reside here for example browse my computer file system you can see here home root you can see here the root folder and you can see also home there is two users exist Razer and oracle now the user executable user executables will exist in these paths slash bin user bin user local as bin so you can see here these are the executables the uh, this is the cp command ch mode command date command cut the other system executables commands executables files will reside here in slash has been slash user has been slash slash user local has been other mount points like your cd-rom your usb will reside here if you have attached the cd-rom you will see in slash media the contents will arrive here and if you are mounting something like uh, USB or a CD-ROM or a floppy drive those drive will appear in slash mount MNT our configuration files resides in slash etc temporary files in slash temp and our kernels and bootloaders resides in slash boot system system information resides in slash proc slash shared library in slash lib so you can go and check out their contents so now the other point we will see that current working directory how you can see in which directory you are currently working First close it so first go on the desktop open the terminal simply type pwd command you will see here I am currently working in slash root what is absolute and relative path names the absolute path is called something like if I am using cd slash root slash desktop this is called the absolute path you are you are defining the absolute path in the console and now relative path means if you are if you are uh, sitting in a, a slash root like cd slash root it's your choice that you can use absolute path or you can even use the relative path like if i have to go in desktop i can simply uh, i can simply type desktop this is called relative relative path i can even use i am sitting in slash root i can even uh, if i want to uh, jump to the desktop i can even use 
absolute path slash root slash desktop the same thing happen you can see here I have used the I have used the relative path here and I have used the absolute path here now how to change the directories change the directory means uh, if you are in slash root how you can jump as you can see here if I have to jump in slash etc simply cd slash etc now I am in slash etc folder if I have to go back simply type cd dot space dot dot now I am in pw uh, type pwd so you can see your current directory now I am in slash etc uh, I am in slash as you can see here I can use sl uh, sl <coughs> slash root ro press double tap or single tap the word completes by itself this is the linux say uh, you can mm, a useful function in linux <coughs> to complete the commands or the path anything so now we will talk about the listing directory contents now what do we see here if i do ls minus l i can see the details detail information of the files and the folders these are the permissions we will talk about later these are the nodes this is the user who have created this folder the, uh, this is the group file size or folder size and date and time now if I have to uh, if I wanna see the hidden files also just simply type ls minus a ls minus a l now these are the hidden files no sorry there are no hidden files in the slash utc directory well you can see them if there are any hidden files in your directory thanks for today